Reborn from the ashes, SpaceX's Massey test site is rapidly evolving from a quiet outpost into a key hub for Starship development. After a brief shutdown, it's back stronger than ever with new tanks, reinforced structures, and advanced test stands driving faster, safer, and more efficient progress. Now central to SpaceX's rapid testing push, Massey is accelerating Starship toward full operational readiness. Let's explore this transformation on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Within SpaceX's vast network of facilities, the Massey test site has long been overlooked. But over the past year, it has rapidly risen in importance, transforming from a quiet support area into one of the key testing centers for the Starship program. Once a modest complex tucked away near Starbase, Massey is now the forefront of SpaceX's most critical ground system upgrades. The shift began when SpaceX designated Massey as a primary test site for Starship. This change led to the construction of a new flame trench designed to handle the tremendous forces and heat from Starship's Raptor engine. Yet the true turning point came earlier this year when a devastating explosion involving the S-36 vehicle caused widespread damage across the site. For a moment, it seemed Massey's role would fade into history. Instead, that disaster sparked a remarkable rebirth. During the six months that followed, while testing temporarily moved to Pad 1, Massey underwent one of the most extensive upgrades in its history. At the heart of this transformation is the brand new QD system, which supports fueling and other vital connections between Starship and ground systems during testing. After the S-36 accident, the previous QD hardware was found completely destroyed, forcing SpaceX to start over. The new version is designed specifically for Starship V3, featuring updated interfaces and reinforced structures. Recent images show the ship QD system being assembled on-site, still mounted on scaffolding as crews install protective shielding and route new hiring and piping. The visible panel includes two distinct connection points that align with Starship's updated fueling ports, designed for faster and safer propellant transfer. While SpaceX has not revealed every detail, it's expected that the new QD will include higher capacity pumps and improved sealing systems, cutting fueling time while boosting overall reliability. With Starship V3 prototype S39 nearing completion by the end of this month, the new ship QD is expected to be ready in time for early December testing. Because Flight 12 has been delayed to January, both the vehicle and the Massey site will have a comfortable window for final checks. Testing will begin with cryogenic proof trials, which will validate the new fueling system under extreme cold, followed by a static fire test late in December if everything proceeds smoothly. Alongside this, SpaceX has also been working on the BQD. First spotted in August, this new assembly is installed on the gantry structure that supports propellant lines and mechanical connections for booster tests. Compared to the Pad 1 design, this updated BQD features a reconfigured interface and thicker pipe routing to match the evolved Booster V3 design. Judging by construction progress, the BQD appears fully operational and ready for use. The next booster in line, B-18, is also nearly complete, with its final parts arriving at the Mega Bay earlier this month. According to SpaceX VP Kiko Donchev, B-18 will undergo its cryogenic test in mid-November, followed by a static fire at Pad 2 in early December. Beyond these headline upgrades, Massey's test stands and support systems are also being rebuilt, which was damaged during the S-36 explosion, is being reconstructed with a similar four-legged platform design for stability. Though internal components like the clamp and hold down systems are being re engineered to fit the new V3 engines. The fuel lines across the site are also being replaced with larger, more durable pipes paired with stronger pumps to improve fueling speed and pressure management. The S36 disaster, though costly, has led to an even stronger and more capable testing facility. Each repaired pipe and newly welded beam tells a story of resilience and innovation, turning a site once defined by destruction into a platform for progress. Its rebuilt infrastructure will help SpaceX test engines, verify cryogenic systems, and push the limits of what the world's most powerful rocket can achieve. In the end, the rebirth of Massey is more than just an engineering milestone. It's a symbol of SpaceX's ability to adapt, rebuild, and push forward no matter the obstacle.
With every new test and every new vehicle, the lessons learned at Massey will help shape the future of Starship and ultimately the path to making life multiplanetary. So as the next chapter of Starship testing begins, one question remains. Which of these upgrades excites you the most? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below, and let's continue exploring the remarkable comeback of SpaceX's reborn test site. Beyond upgrades, the future of SpaceX's Massey test site depends heavily on one critical factor, expansion. Unlike the larger and more flexible areas at Starbase, Massey occupies a relatively small, finger-shaped stretch of land surrounded by a shallow moat. The site originally served as an old shooting range before SpaceX acquired it, which gives it a unique shape but also limits how much infrastructure can be added within its current boundaries. Because of this limitation, any meaningful expansion will likely require SpaceX to acquire additional land in the surrounding region. The main challenge in doing so will come from environmental regulatory agencies, which oversee development across the wetlands surrounding Starbase. However, SpaceX has strong backing from the Texas state government and long-term plans for what Elon Musk has called Starbase City, which is a fully developed aerospace hub that could include expanded testing and operational areas. If that vision moves forward, the Massey expansion could fit neatly within those broader ambitions. So what benefits would expansion actually bring? Most importantly, it would dramatically increase Starship's testing frequency. At the moment, Massey can handle its current workload comfortably, but that will not last. Within the next six to 12 months, as SpaceX ramps up production and prepares for a new cadence of flights, the demand on the test site will rise sharply. Future flight schedules could include up to 25 Starship launches from Starbase per year, each requiring a rigorous sequence of pre-flight tests. Many of these missions will test critical technologies, such as orbital refilling, payload deployment, and two-stage landings. To maintain this pace, SpaceX must produce, test, and launch multiple prototypes simultaneously. That means the pressure on test infrastructure will only continue to grow. The production side of Starbase is already evolving to meet the challenge. SpaceX is pushing the Star Factory into full-scale production mode, and the construction of large facilities such as Gigabay and new stacking bays will allow several Starships and Super Heavy boosters to be assembled at once. This rapid production rate will require a corresponding increase in testing capacity, especially at Massey, which plays a crucial role in early-stage validation. It also so, yeah. It's also important to remember that Starship development extends beyond Texas. SpaceX has already established two Starship launch complexes in Florida, with at least three more in the planning stages. However, those sites currently lack full testing infrastructure. Until those facilities are complete, the Massey test site will remain the primary testing ground for prototypes bound for both Texas and Florida. At present, Massey has just one booster test stand and one ship test stand, which is far from sufficient to handle the volume of future vehicles. To sustain parallel testing operations and ensure that one platform's activities do not interfere with another, additional stands will be essential. That can only happen through physical expansion, which will give SpaceX the room it needs to build more robust, safer, and faster test systems. No matter what changes come to Massey's test site or to SpaceX's Starship testing system overall, all, one key foundation remains essential, the Flame Trench. This feature has become a defining component of the company's testing infrastructure, serving as both a safeguard and a performance enhancer for the world's most powerful rocket. The Flame Trench works through a simple yet brilliant design. Beneath the test stand lies a deep pit that channels exhaust gases through an angled tunnel, directing them away from the rocket and the stand. Lining this tunnel is a series of pipes that minimize damage from the blast. This setup allows the immense power of the Raptor engines to be safely dispersed outward instead of directly downward, protecting both the infrastructure and the vehicle. The benefits were immediate. The flame trench at Massey made tests far more reliable allowing SpaceX to conduct repeated static fires without severe damage to the pad or surrounding systems. Even after the mid-year S-36 explosion, which severely damaged parts of the test site, the flame trench itself remained intact. That event was traced back to a vehicle malfunction, not a system failure, proving how resilient and effective the trench design truly is. Because of this success, SpaceX decided to expand the flame trench concept beyond Massey. The lessons learned there inspired its application to the major Starship launch complexes, starting with Launchpad 2 at Starbase. The system proved so effective that SpaceX replicated and improved it for other sites, 
including LC-39A in Florida and the soon-to-be-upgraded Pad-1 at Starbase. Future Starship pads are also expected to follow the same design principle. SpaceX has confirmed refining the system, even introducing dual flame buckets on some pads to distribute thrust more evenly to distribute thrust more evenly. This is especially important for the 33-engine Super Heavy Booster, whose collective power generates over 7,600 tons of thrust, which is already the most powerful rocket stage in the world. But SpaceX's ambitions do not stop there. The next generation of Raptor engines aims to push that figure past 10,000 tons of liftoff thrust, meaning that durable and optimized flame trenches are absolutely essential for long-term operations. It's not an exaggeration to say that the Massey test site has become a pioneer for innovation within SpaceX's broader testing network. The story of Massey is far from over. The site is still expanding and evolving. More upgrades are already planned, and each one will bring the facility closer to matching the scale of space. SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule. From a quiet, seldom-mentioned area to a centerpiece of SpaceX's testing program, the Massey test site has indeed risen from the ashes. Its rebirth after adversity stands as a symbol of the company's relentless drive to improve, adapt, and push boundaries. As the site continues to evolve, one thing remains certain. The flame trench that helped define its success will continue to burn bright at the heart of SpaceX's journey to the stars. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.